We read 1 Corinthians chapter 3, chapter 4. It's talking about divisions within the church, building a foundation, being rooted in God's word. And in chapter 4, the Apostle Paul comes to say that he's a fool for Christ. I want us just to reevaluate our relationship with Christ and our attitude towards the gospel, our approach to serving people. What is our mindset to really check ourselves? Chapter 4, verse 10, We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. To the present hour we hunger and thirst. We are poorly dressed and buffeted and homeless, and we labor, working with our own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we entreat. We have become and are still like the scum of the world, the refuse of all things. And the NLT says we have become the garbage of this world, as nothing. The world sees us as nothing, as worthless, as maybe crazy. The sad truth is that we have maybe blended in. We don't want to be too Christian. We don't want to point out sin. We kind of blend in carefully with this world without going too far in, so then we don't get called out. So we are not counted as fools for Christ. What is my attitude? What is my approach to Christ? If I'm just living a life that the world accepts and applauses, then I must, I must ask the question, am I really fulfilling the will of God? Am I living out the gospel the way it's supposed to be? And may we have this desire to even become a fool for Christ's sake, to go out of our way, to call black, black, white, white. In other words, call out what is sin. Speak up for the truth. I'm not saying we have to do all these protests, but when we interact with people and when we hear something, or when we get asked our opinion, or whatever it may be, we stand with the truth, with no shame. And may they even laugh at us. May they even count us as fools for Christ's sake. But once again, it'll be for Christ's sake. There'll be glory, there'll be a reward in heaven. Because Christ, I like this quote, that he publicly, because he publicly was ashamed, or not ashamed, but portrayed as this very bad image on the cross, he publicly died for us. I will publicly testify about him without any shame, without any guilt, without any regret, with a full desire, with a full love. May Christ open up his love for us so that we may go out and be it, we be fools for Christ. But we have a reward and we have a home waiting for us. Everything will be worth it because Christ is worth it. So I challenge you to step out of your comfort zone to preach the gospel, to live out the gospel, and that Christ would just pour out of you into the lives of others, that we may also be the light and shine people toward the Christ and point people back to the cross where they would receive forgiveness and freedom from their sins.